just a reminder that the squad is garbage. Just there, it's, it's filled with terrible people. So over the past 48 hours, there was an attempt by the Democrats to push Republicans to basically push forward spending bills by including in spending bills things like funding for Iron Dome, which is the Israeli defense system. And the squad voted it down. Like members of the squad who were in favor of increasing the spending, Republicans voted against it because they didn't want to increase the spending period. Democrats were in favor of increasing the spending. They just didn't like Israel, at least members of the squad. So Rashida Tlaib, who's just the uh, de Hamas in the, like she's, she's just a terrorist representative apparently in the American Congress because that's all she does, just stand for Hamas. So she went out there and she said she was very upset that now the Democrats brought up correctly a separate funding bill for $1 billion for Iron Dome, which is a purely defensive technology. And Rashida Tlaib said uh, she didn't want any funding for war crimes. I will not support an effort to enable and support war crimes, human rights abuses, and violence. We cannot ta be talking only about Israelis' need for safety at a time when Palestinians are living under a violent apartheid system and are dying from what Human Rights Watch has said are war crimes. Okay, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi was like, um, the hell are you talking about? Iron Dome is a purely defensive system designed to safeguard all civilians living in Israel. The system was co-developed by the United States and Israel and has saved thousands of lives. So whatever subsidy we are paying to Israel, we're getting back in terms of the technology. Um, and pretty much everybody voted for it. Right? Everybody, the, the final vote on this thing had, I think, nine people who did not vote for it. Uh, Ted Deutsch, the representative from Palm Beach, he, uh, he came out. He's a Democrat and finally slammed Rashida Tlaib as the anti-Semite she is. He's only two years late on this. I cannot allow one of my colleagues to stand on the floor of the House of Representatives and label the Jewish Democratic state of Israel an apartheid state. I reject it. Let's be clear. It's consistent with those who advocate for the dismantling of the one Jewish state in the world. And when there is no place on the map for one Jewish state, that's anti-Semitism. Yes, it most certainly is. And the anti-Semites include Representatives Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, no shock there. I mean, they, they are just openly allied at this point with Hamas. Ayanna Presley, the Ringo star of the squad. Cori Bush, the BLM congresswoman from Missouri. That's also not a shock because the BLM organization is openly anti-Semitic. Andre Carson, Marie Newman, Jesus Garcia and Raul Grivalva, and uh, one Republican representative, Thomas Massey, who voted against because he votes against pretty much every funding bill. And that, that, is, that is why Massey voted against it, not because he's anti-Israel, just because he doesn't like pretty much any funding. AOC is the one we should focus on here. So originally, the vote came around and AOC voted against funding Iron Dome. Then AOC backed off a bit because as always, she is just cosplaying the revolution. That is all. She wants to be seen as radical, but then when it comes right down to it, she just wants power and money. That's all she wants. AOC, she wants to run for Senate in New York. You ain't getting far running for the Senate in New York, being overtly anti-Semitic the way that Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib are. Ilhan Omar can get away with it because she's from a district in Minnesota that is extraordinarily far left and radical against Israel. And the same is true for Rashida Tlaib. That is not true for, it may be true in her district, it is certainly not true statewide. So whatever hope she has for statewide office rests on her abstaining. So she actually abstained from this. But, you know, she, she did have to cry some crocodile tears. So no tears for the people who are attempting to cross the border down in, in Del Rio, Texas. No tears about that. But she broke out the, the sobbing again after switching her vote. So she knew where the cameras were because she always knows where the cameras are. I mean, she's like a, a moth to a flame when it comes to cameras. AOC made her way down while somebody else was speaking and then pretty overtly started dabbing at her eyes because she was so sad that she had abstained from this, from this particular bill. So terrible that Israel has defensive technology to prevent its citizens from being slaughtered en masse by a terrorist group firing rockets indiscriminately into civilian areas. You can see her approach when she walks up to a fellow congressperson and she's, she's so sad, she's upset, and she removes her glasses. She knows exactly where the camera is this whole time, right? She removes her glasses. And she starts dabbing at her eyes. Ah, oh, oh, the sadness. Oh, the pain. Ah, she is just terrible. We're in a battle for the culture and for our values. Like and subscribe to help keep our videos on the front line of the fight and top of your feed.